forecast. Here's KATC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back and happy Labor Day, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed the day today. A little hot out there to be grilling outdoors, but at least the humidity has been a little bit lower. Pleasant evening ahead and we do it all over again tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Rain chances staying at or below normal. Can't rule out an isolated afternoon storm, but changes in the 10 day forecast later in the week. Meanwhile, the tropics are staying busy. We'll get to that in just a bit. You can see across uh, the Bayou State today, generally fair skies, some showers and storms with a sea breeze front working their way northward across Texas and then we open it on up and look at here as we get into uh, uh, portions of the Rockies this white here these are winter storm <laughs> advisories and warnings on the way for areas that are seeing temperatures in the 90s this afternoon got well into the 90s in the Denver area this afternoon but watch what's going to happen let's flash forward uh, just uh, 24 hours and here comes the cold air this was the front that we thought we might get a taste of but we're not going to get a whiff of this one, but look at this Denver dropping down into the mid 30s for lunchtime, upper 20s tomorrow night, more than likely lower 30s and uh, upwards of 6 to 12 inches of snow there. But meanwhile, we are staying on the hot side in the immediate future with no real fronts on the way, at least for the next week to 10 days. But eventually one's coming. We know that we're getting close to that time of year. Meanwhile, we get into the tropics It's quiet in the Gulf of Mexico. Lots of deep tropical moisture, kind of stationary here in the West. Central Caribbean up through Cuba and just into the southern Bahamas. This though is going to be drifting slowly to the west northwest in the days ahead. Could eventually add to our rain chances later into the weekend and certainly as we go into next week as we do see that tropical moisture pooling in the Gulf of Mexico. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the tropics, there's a weak area of disturbed weather here just south and western Bermuda. This could be drifting toward the Carolinas. We'll keep an eye on that system as it's close to home. And then on the other side of the globe, uh, you can see tropical storm Paulette. We have Tropical Storm Renee, the newest name system, and another one that could be Sally down the line. Uh, is still uh, waiting to come off the African coast, and the Hurricane Center giving this one a pretty good chance of development down the line, and we'll see it on the model coming up. So we have Renee here by the Cabo Verde Islands. We have uh, Paulette here that looks certainly more organized, and we'll take a look at Renee first. This is expected to eventually become a hurricane, but we think this one stays out to sea, not impacting any land areas in the Western Hemisphere. We hope we'll keep our fingers crossed. Meanwhile, Tropical Storm Paulette, 40 mile per hour winds right now. Expected to strengthen a little bit, but the future, uh, there's going to be a little shear in between. Not a whole lot going on with this system over the next four to five days, but eventually this could turn more westerly, and we'll have to keep an eye on this system, especially for our friends along the East Coast. No promises yet. I'm not uh, going to say it's not a Gulf threat either at this point. Nothing's uh, uh, out of the equation so far for 2020. So here we go with that moisture that we showed you in the Caribbean that begins to move westward across the Gulf of Mexico as we go deeper into the weekend. Here's Paulette. Here's Renee. And could that be Sally? Uh, could that be uh, the one that comes afterwards? I forget the name right now, but we're going through the Teddy. Uh, that's a male's name coming down the line. And again, we'll watch this one here. It could be trouble and we'll have more storms to talk about in the Atlantic for the most part. And then we'll have this tropical moisture here. It can't rule out broad low pressure developing here a week or so down the line, so we'll have to watch out for that, but no immediate threats, and that is the good news, and it stays nice and quiet with fair skies for tomorrow morning. Temperatures lower 70s tomorrow afternoon, back into the lower 90s at heat index up there into the mid 90s as well. Better rain chances back to the west over toward Lake Charles, perhaps, and then uh, into southeast Texas, and then as we head into Wednesday, more of the same partly cloudy skies and a sporadic afternoon shower, thunder shower possible as we go through your Wednesday afternoon. Rain chances low this week, but they'll perk up a little bit for the weekend. So a relatively pleasant evening, relatively tolerable humidity out there. Clear skies, 72 the low in Lafayette, 92 the high tomorrow. Another quiet day for the most part with mostly sunny skies and that rain chance low. Very light southeasterly winds tomorrow afternoon. As we go down the line, rain chances 20% or less through Friday. Could see a better chance of scattered afternoon storms into the early evening hours this weekend, but the weekend won't be a washout going into to next week, though, it looks like a pretty good chance of daytime showers and storms in the forecast. That's it for weather. Now back over to Marcel.